Now let's look at the basics of how to insert text and text effects into your movie project in iMovie 11. The first thing that you're going to want to do is come over here and locate the title toolbar. You can see it right here below your preview window with the T. Click that and you'll get this window here. This menu lists all your different choices for text effects and text boxes. And if you browse through those, as you mouse over them, you'll be able to see if there's any kind of special effect associated with it or anything like that. There may or may not be, depending on the effect, like this one's called Far, Far Away, and you can see it scrolls a lot like a Star Wars intro. Clouds, they bounce up. Boogie Lights does a real nice fancy flashing. So does Pixie Dust. Organic Main looks like plants growing and so on. And then there's others that are just really plain effects like Lower Third, Centered, Lower and Upper, and all they are is just text boxes basically on your screen. So what you want to do is first of all decide where you want the clip to go, then choose the clip that you want, either plain text or the animated type. In this case, let's pick this one that's slightly animated, just barely, it bounces up. And I'm just going to click and drag that to the spot in my video where I want that to go. I'm going to put it right on top of this particular film clip. Now I've got this here that's the actual the uh, text effect that I want. If I click on it, I make it editable and I can say and I can add my text to it and so on. And now if I move my mouse over that text, you can see that it pops up. I mean over that film clip you can see the text pops up and so on. And right now, because I drug it right on top of this particular clip, it matched the length of time, the duration of that text, to the clip that I added it to. If I want to shorten that or change that, I can just click on it, double click, and I will get an inspector, clip inspector, and I can change this time. I'm going to say three seconds, for instance, say done. And you can see now I've got a clip that's shorter and it will show up in the middle of the clip and then disappear. Okay. All right, now that particular clip does not have any changes I can make to it besides just the wording and the length and so on. But I can't choose what font I want, what font size, what color, and things like that. With some of these text options, you can. For example, I'm going to use centered, which is probably the most generic of all, but we're going to go for it. And I'm going to pop it right here on top of this piece of uh, film or this clip. And you can see I get a text box here that I can now edit. I'm going to just do the top row first. Uh, and then I can do the subtitle. There you go. Now that's all fine and good, but if you'll notice, I'm not real pleased with how this white is sort of bleached out by this bright background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right up here. This wasn't there a while ago when I was working on this text box, but it's here now. Click Show Fonts, and this screen opens up. Now I've got some choices. So I'm going to choose, let's see, let's go with Futura Medium. I'm going to change the color too, make that a little more stand out I'm gonna go with this green I think that's about as bold and stands out about as much as any and then I'm gonna change it to a nine font size or an eight how about an eight yeah all right and when I have the choices that I want I can also say do I want to align it left do I want to align it right or so on then I say done and I'm gonna come in here and add this exclamation mark just because it makes more sense all right and now I've got that piece of text added to that clip now again if I don't want it to be as long as the entire clip I can double click on it go into my clip inspector and change the length of time that that uh, the duration that that clip will last okay but it, for right now I'm happy with it and I've added two text boxes notice by the way that there are already some text boxes in this clip Here's one right here at the beginning. It just says my movie. If I want to edit that, I can come here and say, you know, whatever I want. And the same thing down here at the end. I've got this 
text box that says directed by Randy Rogers. Those are default ones that are added automatically when you choose a theme. So if you want them to say something different, you have to go in and edit them. That's all there is to adding text and editing text.